Hello everybody. Today we're going to can some apple pie filling. This is my first time doing it. So come along as we get ready to go on this little tiny canning. Okay, so like last time, we gotta get our supplies ready. So I've got my apples here. Move that little guy out the way. So we're gonna be peeling and cutting them and putting them in here. We also need to get our other ingredients ready. So for this, we're gonna use something called clear gel. It is modified cornstarch. Apparently it holds up better in the canning process than regular cornstarch. Instead of granulated sugar, I like to use coconut sugar. I've got a little recipe. I gotta clean these jars still. I've already cleaned the stock pot and I need to go get the pressure okay. can. I've got my jars washed. I've got our pressure canner sitting out here ready to go. So now what we need to do is tackle peeling and cutting the apple. Okay, so I actually ended up only cutting I think maybe 12 apples and it's enough for five jars which is perfect so i'm going to keep filling these jars and then we're going to get started on our um, syrup filling portion you might be wondering why i'm filling the jars over here as opposed to the counter and that's because when we make this filling it's going to be hot and so i wanted to have the towel under here to put underneath the jars so that way we could just go right from here into the pressure canner so i'm gonna get started on the filling i'm probably gonna double the recipe just in case it's not enough the recipe said that this was for three quarts but as you can see i've got five so i'm gonna go ahead and double the recipe for the filling okay so what i have in here is the coconut sugar i have also the lemon juice i have water clear gel nutmeg cinnamon and we're gonna start heating this up now we're gonna bring this to a boil and we're gonna have to keep stirring this. So let's get started stirring this up. It's supposed to get very thick as you continue. It's already pretty thick because I have coconut sugar in here, which is very clumpy. I'm just going to keep working on this and keep stirring it to get it nice and thick. And the thing you have to know about coconut sugar is that it will be darker. So if you're not using white sugar and you're using coconut sugar, just know that your mixture is going to be dark brown and that's normal. Okay, so you don't need to double the recipe. Let me tell you why. We're going to have so much of this left over. So let me just tell you, do not double the filling recipe. It'll be a disaster. But anyway, this is kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna get ready to wipe down the jars, but this is what we okay, got. So I had so much of this uh, filling, I ended up getting two more jars. So we are at uh, seven jars. We're gonna get ready to put these in the canner and we're gonna set after it vents for 10 minutes. The recipe says to have it um, on 10 pounds of pressure for eight minutes, but I'll probably bump it up to like maybe 10 or 20 because I've seen different recipes go for different times. So I'll probably do maybe about 10 or 12 minutes. All right, we've got these in the canner. I can fit seven jars comfortably in the bottom and we're gonna get ready to okay, turn now we're off. venting. So we let this vent for 10 minutes before we put our pressure gauge on okay, and now reach 10 pounds of pressure. So we have to keep an eye on this gauge and the heat because you're gonna wanna adjust it if it starts to go beyond 10 and you don't want it to go below 10. So I'll probably let's do this. The recipe said eight minutes, but I've seen some that say 20. So I might just split the difference and do somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes or eight and 20 minutes for this to um, come to full pressure and to cook up. Okay, I decided to go with 20 minutes. So we're gonna turn the heat off now and let this get all the way back down to zero pounds of pressure and then we'll come. This was sort of a disaster. I think three of these are sealed. Three came out and bubbled up out of the canner. So they might've been too full. So this is kind of a win, kind of not. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is freeze these three jars. And I think these three or four jars are sealed. So. That's kind of a fail on canning apple pie filling, but the thing with canning is sometimes you're bound to have 
errors, fails, mistakes, and sometimes they're good. This is why you make multiple jars, because things like this can happen.